you can kind of slap this on. Uh, just a couple things I forgot. I didn't want to redo the video because I just remembered. I was going to say Duckman came on before The Simpsons. Or, well, no, it was like around The Simpsons. But Duckman was, I think, too controversial for its time. It would fit in so well nowadays. Like, ugh, it's great. Um, there was Duckman. And I was going to say The Simpsons kind of continued what Mel Blanc had started, where Mel Blanc was doing voices for Warner Brothers on Bugs Bunny cartoons, and he did, like, 500 voices. Like, you know, every voice on the on the show, If it's, I think it's pretty much all his voice. So Dan Castellaneta did the same thing. Like, there's, like, four or five characters on the guys, on people on The Simpsons that do the whole cast. I think Lisa's the only one that does one voice, but everyone else pretty much does, if not more than one, they do, like, 50 or 60 characters. So Seth MacFarlane on Family Guy does the same thing, and all of his characters, you, you can't really tell a lot of them. I didn't know... Peter did Brian and did Stewie, like, he's that talented. It, Brian is his real voice, really. <clears throat> but really, all the other, like, you just, you would never know. Um, so yeah, this one here is, uh, I just thought it'd come on and sh spread a little knowledge. Just, just spread it out there, because I'm hoarding it. I'm hoarding it from you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarding whore. Uh, when you, a lot of people don't realize that, um, it's like, Carbs, right? Okay, carbs, carbs, with protein. Carbs, you have two two things you can. Well, there's a lot more things you need, but carbs, protein, right? Protein, carbs, you need you need energy for your body to, to run, right? Your protein is good because it's meat. It's just just meat. So when you eat it and you you don't you you you, you wait too much of it, your body just goes, oh, I don't need this. I'll just kind of send this on. It'll just it'll just it'll just disappear. The ocean will take it away. Just just go. But when you eat carbs and you don't use it, your body goes, whoa, whoa, carbs. Well, we we might need this. Like we we might caught in an elevator somewhere someday and you, you may want to hang on to this. This is this is useful. Oh, I can put this right here, right on your hips, right on your ass, so then if you need it, it's there in case you're starving. The thing with carbs is it just it'll 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 keep it depends on your metabolism. It depends on how active you are and everything. Like I can eat McDonald's before I go to bed every day of the week and it doesn't change fucking thing because my metabolism's like Bro! But most people have a couple burgers and they gotta pay for it the next day. I uh, just wanted everybody to know that if you eat, if you want, if you're, if you're the type of person who wants to lose weight, you can lose weight by just messing with your diet a little bit. Believe it or not, this is great. One of my friends, Trish, her um, sister got married, right, and they both, you know, had a little bit extra weight. And I saw them again recently, and they were just all gone, like almost all gone. I was like, "What have you guys been doing?" And they just said, "Well, we." stopped eating after a certain time at night. We just eat smaller smaller proportions, and in six months, the, the pair of them have lost. I don't know how much weight. It's ridiculous. So, if you want to do it gradually, you can make it come out faster if you change your diet and work out, but if you want to make a change, just a nice, easy change to kind of slowly lose weight, you should avoid certain things, like protein is good, vegetables are good, avoid carbs. Carbs like rice are very good for you because they're light, very light carbs, all good. You know, look at Asia, they don't have a lot of, well, I know things are kind of changing over there, but if you look at the Asian culture, there's not very many overweight uh, Asians because they eat a lot of really healthy things like rice and stuff, and other things that I can't talk about. Um, so, carbs are bad because if you eat, just for example, we get somebody, right, that body type that can't get rid of everything, it just sticks there, you know, big busty body type, big old belly and everything. If you were to eat protein, your body would start getting rid of the fat, but you also need calcium. Calcium is a catalyst for breaking down fat. So if you just eat like a very kind of light dairy protein vegetable diet and just stick to it, you will notice in six weeks you probably would have lost about 10 pounds or more. Like it's just very easy. It's just very straightforward. It's like a bank. But if you eat things like, well, you can include rice in that diet too, because rice is good for you, but if you start eating, say, the worst offenders, the big three, I think you should watch out for, potatoes, spaghetti, bread, those are the three things you got to watch out for, and unfortunately, those are three of the tastiest things you can eat. Potatoes have a lot of starch in them, when you eat starch, your body absorbs the starch, turns it into simple sugars, which ends up giving more fat, so, basically, potatoes are the big no-no, if you can avoid eating potatoes, then... I would suggest you do it. It's the one of the biggest things you can do. And the same thing with bread and pasta. Pasta has a fair amount of starch in it, and bread is just fatty, fatty, fatty. Fast food as well. I mean, cut down on the fast food, but if you can cut out those three items, or at least have half a potato, or, you know, try not to eat bread so much, or do sit-ups if you're going to do, you know, whatever. And it's just, there's a lot of different things people can do for solutions, right? These solutions 
all they do, they just take a little bit of willpower. I know I've been part of the. I'm a I'm an O blood type, which is the meat that should eat meat and avoid carbs. Um, but I know myself. I've been in the carb thing before. You know, when your body just grabs a hold of you and says, oh, "I need carbs," and you're just you're gonna freak out if you don't get some carbs. I mean, I've had that happen to me more times than I can count. But I mean, I'm lucky because I have an excuse. My metabolism doesn't permit me to put on weight. But not everyone has that luxury. So what you should do is smaller proportions, and if you eat more often in the day, your metabolism goes up, because the bigger meals cause your whole body to slow right down, because you're digesting this huge ball of food that's like this big. So, smaller proportions, eat more often, eat snacks all the time if you gotta, just, you know, go crazy. It's just, that's what you gotta do. Um, and if you don't even have to change your exercise regimen to do this, you just have to, every time you eat a meal, think, my body's going to have to deal with this in a day, in two days, in a week. Or I'm going to have to deal with what my body is dealing with. So, you know, if you're if you're eating two potatoes, think, I'm going to eat these two potatoes, but then I'm probably going to gain, like, two pounds. So is that something I want to deal with? Like, just think of yourself in the future. You're you right now, and then there's the you tomorrow, and the you in a week, and a you in a month, right? So if you smoke 40 packs of cigarettes today the you of tomorrow is not going to be very fucking happy, and you're eventually going to become the you of tomorrow, right? So think about yourself in the future, you know? Plan a little bit. Try to get some help, you know? Just drink more water. Water fills you up really good. I mean, if you eat a sandwich, and you're like, okay, I don't want to eat anymore. Eat a fucking huge glass of water, and that's it. Bob's your uncle's brother. Eat tuna, too, if you guys can. Tuna is fucking great. You take a can of tuna, squeeze it, drain all the juice out of it, and it's just sitting in the can, right? Like, this is what bodybuilders do. Tuna on its own, not so good. But if you take it, and you take a big chunk of it, you put it in your mouth, you have a glass of water, don't ask me why, but water destroys tuna. It evaporates. Like, you swallow it, boom, it breaks it apart, and it's all gone. It, you don't even feel like you're swallowing it. You can eat a can of tuna, which is all protein and very good for you. Just watch it for mercury if you eat too much of it. But I'm telling you, it's, it's good for losing weight. So, use my advice, guys. Go out there. Go, you know, get a, go fight those carbs. Yeah, 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 do it.